this video is brought to you. Nah, I was just playing. This video ain't brought to you by nobody. But anyways, today, y'all, I'm going to go in and uh, I'm going to do some work in the trunk because I'm going to be putting a crazy sound system in the trunk. The only thing I don't know is, am I going to put 312s or 215s? The 312s may look better because they can run in like a complete, you know what I mean? But besides that, I'm going to do some work in the trunk today. I'm painting those trims that I was supposed to paint yesterday. And I had something else I was supposed to do. Y'all may forget. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to take the old tent off the back windows. And I'm going to try to do the passenger side windows. The only problem is the steering column broke. I still haven't fixed that. And I don't know if I got enough room to work on the passenger side. But uh, we're going to make it do what it do. Let's get in the garage. Let's get started and make it happen, y'all. with it and uh i think the first thing we're gonna start with is gonna be this trunk now let me show you all this rear ac i mean it's a lot of stuff in here right now so you might not be able to see it that good but this right here is the factory rear, rear ac from 1966 so i'm gonna be taking all that out i'm gonna be taking all the old carpet out of course i'm gonna be cleaning everything out the trunk just get it down to its bare self might spray some type of primer in there. I'm going to be putting new carpet, new carpet in the trunk, and then I'm going to be getting ready to put a new speaker box and so on and so on. Now, I also want to clean this back window off. Got a lot of old tent stuck on here, so I'm going to take all of that off. Uh, the passenger side, I also want to do, but it's not much room over there. So, let's get started on this trunk. Get everything up out of there. What's crazy is... I actually found a cat or a kitty sleeping in the trunk one day. But I guess the mother came and got it, but I think I might have to name this car after that kitty. I don't know. Oh, but that sound crazy. I don't know, y'all. But let's get started on this trunk. Get this thing cleaned up and uh, get that day on the road. Get started on is this trunk. First and foremost, I want to clean it out. Got way too much stuff in here. I just been putting parts and pieces I've been ordering. So I got a lot of stuff sitting in there. But my main focus is getting this whole rear AC unit out. I don't need that no more. It's just taking up space. It got these old lines running to it. So I'm gonna get all of that out, get this old carpet out. And uh, once we get that done, depending on how long that takes, come back here, take this old tin off, get this back window cleaned up. So uh, we got some tasks to do today. If all that gets done, I think I'm gonna work on some of the moldings. Cause remember I bought that spray paint yesterday. So I'm gonna work on some of the moldings, try to get some paint on that. Start putting some more pieces back together. I wanna get this car solid enough so I could just start on the electrical, if you know what I mean. As far as like running the wires for the radio, uh, the power inverter I got. So let's get started. Let's get this truck cleaned out. And uh, so I got this trash can because some of the stuff that's in here I just don't need, but a lot of the stuff I do. So. Let me go ahead, get as much stuff out as possible. Still got some carpet left. Figure out something to use, use it for. New shocks for the front. That's gonna be going on there. Woo. That was heavy right there. Oh, this is a rotor. I ordered two. But they only sent one, but we putting uh, disc brakes on the front. I'm not using drums. I'm scared of them. So, keep that. Some old pieces that I probably don't need, but keep that. This will be on the safe side. Some more, more stuff than I thought in this truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Get all this stuff cleared out so we can get started on AC day. On AC unit. Get it. So we just about got it cleaned out. Cleaning the trunk out. Now I'm realizing I do have a lot of more stuff to do because I just took so many little interior pieces out of here. A lot of stuff I don't know where it goes. Let's see 
see all this stuff that came out this trunk. All these interior pieces. The good thing is though, I found those door handles. And I found all four of these little chrome moldings that go. I'll show you where these go. I almost killed myself. So those are those chrome pieces right there on the ground. That's where they go. They go right here. And I was having a hard time finding these because this car is so big that they didn't really sell them exactly for this car. So I'm glad I found those. Those the door handles that I just showed y'all go right here. So that's gonna add some more to the door panels. Remember, I put this armrest on. It's still holding up. And uh yeah, I still gotta figure out where I'm gonna put the speaker. I might have to do some fiberglass for the speakers in the back. Or I may just put the speakers in the center console because the center console runs to the back. I may put one on this side, one on that side. That'd be different, wouldn't it? I think so. So I'm gonna get the vacuum because I got a lot of leaves and stuff still in this trunk. I'm gonna try to vacuum all of that out. Then get started on that. So let's see y'all. Let's make it. All right, y'all. So I feel a lot better now because I cleaned up a lot of stuff off the ground. And I sorted out some more parts from the things that I need and the things that I don't need. So right here, these are pretty much all the parts that I need. I put blue tape on everything that's just gonna go black. And uh, no, blue tape, almost forgot myself. Blue tape is, going, is everything that I need to pretty much make a copy of. So I still got some of that little cardboard left. So I'm gonna make some copies out of that. And uh, I'm clean. I'm gonna try to get these pieces back chrome as possible and then I might come through and hit them with the rose gold or I might just leave them chrome I'm not trying to do too much and then uh these metal pieces like this is going black so uh that's a lot of those pieces right there answered a lot of the questions I had about what I need to actually buy because I didn't know that I had all those pieces the door handles some of these moldings even right here I got this molding still uh, if I can reach it, sorry, I got that one, and I still got that one up there. So, I got a lot of the old pieces, a lot of the parts that's valuable that I really need. So, that's a good feel. So, uh, I'm gonna vacuum this trunk out and I'm gonna try to do so. I'm gonna try to put more focus on those parts, actually, getting some paint work and stuff like that done. But, I want to get this trunk squared away too. So, I'm still gonna stick with the first task, finish up what I said I was gonna finish. So we gotta now, we gotta get all these leaves, all this trash out of here. The vacuum I got not even that strong, but I think it'll do the job. All right, y'all, so we got the vacuum plugged up. I don't think this vacuum, I don't know how good a job this thing will do, man. Like I said, cheap vacuum, but we gonna make it do what it do, like always. I took majority of the big trash out there, I knew it was good. Alright y'all, we back. That was risky right there. You can imagine how dangerous it is in hell these chemicals from a car this old. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm not taking this mask off either. Not one back here. Man. Alright y'all, so I'm about to start removing this uh AC unit and uh I guess it's an AC unit slash heat heater too so just looking at it right now I can see it's like two main bolts underneath right here and then let me see 
that's all I see for now. I don't know. Oh, okay, it's another boat. So it's about from just looking at it naked view. It's about three main points that's holding that together. I'm pretty sure there's something else inside, but uh, I'm gonna start off with these main ones that I can see right now. Unscrew those, pull the whole, try to get the whole unit out. Then the wires and stuff, I could just cut. I don't need none of those. So let me go get a, another mask because there's still a lot of dust in here. I already got my tools. Everything ready to go. So let's get to it, y'all. Make it happen. All right, so I got those both loose. Uh, I'm trying to look. I mean, I don't really see much else, but it is a lot of hoses holding this unit in. So I don't know if it'll. You know what? All we can do is try see if it'll. It's loose, but not loose enough to the point where it come all the way out. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the drill and I'm gonna go ahead and try to loosen up as many hoses as I can and see if I can pull the whole AC unit out. So let's make it happen. I broke it loose as many hoses as possible. Well, not as possible, as many as I felt like doing to be honest. And I'm gonna try to uh, rip it out. Cause I just need to get this thing out. I'm not using none of the old wires. So once I get this thing out, I can literally just chop all the wires out. It's just in it. There we go. So I got my uh got my cutters right here, little wire cutters and a razor blade. I think that'll do the job. Or maybe I should just unplug it up and cut it later. All right, y'all. So end up just cutting, grinding these uh little lines off, man. The, the screws and the setup for something I'm not using, something I don't need. I just cut it all off. So I got a few more wires to clip off and uh. I think I'll be able to pull this whole thing out. I know, I know it's gonna be pretty heavy. We're gonna do it on the count of three. Y'all know I'll be in a gym, right? You see the, you see the tricep. Let me see. Yeah, you see it. All right, let's get it. Ah. Woo -wee. That was some work right there. I'm glad we got all that done. I'm gonna take those last little pieces of hoses off right there and uh, clean it up and uh, we should be good to go. Give me a microfiber, an old microfiber. This is the acetone that I'm using right there. Got it from Home Depot, just in case any of y'all wanna know. So yeah. Take this to the trunk. Also, I want to show y'all what the trunk looking like. You know what I mean? It's a lot of space, but what's crazy is you can see all the way through the car through the trunk. Watch. Show y'all. Got so much stuff on here. All right. So, big old trunk. I might have to go 312s. Like 112 right there. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? 312s across. Bring the. Hey, y'all see how the vision come out, but look at this. You can see inside the whole whip. I mean, of course, when I put the back seats, but you know what? The back seats alone won't even cover that, so I'm probably gonna have to get a piece of sheet metal or something. Nah, why would I do sheet metal? Then you'll see that. All right, so instead of uh, just pouring this on the rag, pouring it in the trunk, I'm gonna uh, pour it in this bottle right here, spray it. And all this is gonna do is really prep it real good for the uh, for the primer I'm going to be putting on there. Alright y'all, so I hit it with the acetone. I was going to be done, but I actually found a can of some black primer. So I'm going to coat as much as I can in here. I'm not going to do it perfection. I'm not going to do it so it look good. I'm just coating as much as I can. Like I said, carpet is going over all this. So 
we're gonna hit this up real quick. Make it look a little, a little more presentable, a little better, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, we move on to the next. Finished putting a little spray paint in there. I only put really almost one coat, you know what I mean? It's nothing that serious to be trying to really coat like that. So let me show y'all what it's looking like. So just a little black. We're gonna let that dry a little bit. And I'll come back when I get the carpet, put the glue in there and just lay the carpet over all of this, fill it all the way in. Then I'll be ready to sit my boxes in here. And uh, yeah, it'll be ready. But yeah, just let that dry. I'm gonna leave the trunk open. We're going to start on these other pieces. Uh, it's so many pieces, so I got to see what I want to start on first. Maybe the paint, or maybe I just want to do a, the, the cardboard pieces that I got to cut out the wood. So let's get over there, start on that, and make it happen. Uh, what time is it? All right, y'all. So first, I'm going to sand these pieces down. Now, these pieces go around the, the back window, pretty much. I'll show you, actually. Let me show you where these pieces go. Go right here. They go over this, come around here, then bam, drop down. You get what I'm saying? So the pieces I'm doing now are for, are for the back windows. And I also got the pieces for the front windows. And that's why I was saying, I'm shocked I found a lot of these pieces because I thought it was just missing it. I was just going to thug it out and be like, you know what? Don't even need it. But now I'm going to go ahead and put the actual black that I'm going with on top of this primer. So let me move my phone out the way. Alright y'all, so I put two coats on everything. I went ahead and hit the other pieces because I didn't feel like coming back tomorrow and doing that. So right now I'm just letting them dry. So this is the pieces that I originally painted first. I set them down there. Uh, depending on how dry, how fast they dry, I may try to put them in. Then here go the other pieces right here. So I'm gonna let everything dry. Everything came out real good. Looked like I coated everything pretty good. Some of these pieces wasn't perfect. So there's some imperfections just from old age, but overall when I put them up in there, I think they look real good. So while those are drying, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to clean these up because I don't really have much plan for these. I don't think I'm gonna paint these or anything because people getting in and out the car, it, they just chip off real quick. So all I'm gonna do is try to clean those up, try to bring the chrome back and hopefully we have those ready to go inside the car too. So. Oh yeah, trunk looking good. Look at that. New trunk. New trunk. Who this? But now nah, I'm still gonna come through, put the carpet in there. How this looking real good. And a little bit in the future, all these moldings right here, I'm replacing too on all the doors, everything. They sell universal moldings that got double side tape that you could just go around the car with. So everything's shaping out pretty good. Let me clean these moldings up. I'm still waiting for the little trims that go around the back window to dry. So I'm gonna try to clean these up as good as possible and I'll move on to putting them trims in the car. Let's get it. So I finished cleaning up the chrome moldings, but uh, I still got a lot of more work to do and I think I'm gonna put off to the next video. Probably gonna be tomorrow. So I still gotta do all these pieces right here. These are like interior pieces, goes on top of the door, between the doors, everything is, those are all interior pieces. I just gotta pretty much make copies of that out of wood. They're gonna boy Big germ right there. What it do, YouTube? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let me tell y'all, let me give y'all a walkthrough of what all we did today. So, bam, we started off first with the trunk. Took all the AC, took the old AC and heater unit out, painted the trunk with a nice primer black, got the trunk cleaned out real good. It's nice and dry. Then we painted these moldings right here. I put this one on just for y'all. So this black little molding goes around this window bam and i got all of those moldings actually too i just got to put them on then i clean these chrome side step moldings up got all of those so bam bam so the other side so those came out fairly decent i mean they don't have to be perfect because i mean people hop out and hop in right here those are the rest of the moldings right there 
some of those the other ones go up by the rearview mirror i just didn't get a chance to put them up because the uh paint didn't dry enough and i don't want to put fingerprints all in it but uh i got another vlog slash video whatever you want to call it that's gonna be dropping tomorrow all right y'all appreciate you for rocking with your boy the garage chronicles that's gonna be it for today's video please like please subscribe and it is what it is you got anything to say big big germ we're not gonna stop we got a lot coming man we got a lot coming that's it <laughs> we out